Today we're building this retro styled Bluetooth speaker boombox with drivers and amplifier parts from Parts Express. Build plans for this project is available for purchase on my website soundblab.net or click on the link in the description box below. The entire enclosure is made from 12 millimeter or half inch medium density fiberboard. Uh, here I'm using a roundover bit uh, just to sof soften up the corners of the box to give it a nice smooth finish. I always get a lot of questions in the comments uh, about the sealer that I use on MDF. Uh, this is a sanding sealer and uh, it's a great way to um, seal off the porous nature of the MDF before you actually apply an undercoat or and then a top coat of paint.
Yeah, off camera I just drilled some holes and countersunk them um, where the back panel will be fixed to the rest of the enclosure. This Bluetooth amplifier board uh, is from Pot Express. It's the KAB215 2 times 15 watts class D audio amplifier. Uh, it also uh, it doesn't come with uh, accessories, uh, but you can buy them also from Pot Express. Uh, volume control, uh, power and charging lights, Bluetooth light, uh, a battery extension board for rechargeable batteries. Um, and they all just plug into the board and it works quite well. Working with this amplifier board was fairly straightforward, however it can also be a little bit fiddly. You have to be quite careful uh, that once you plug into these white plugs into the sockets on the board, uh, it's very very difficult to remove them without actually breaking off the plug from the board. The drivers I'm using uh, are from Dayton Audio, also from Parts Express. They are the ND90 4 ohm drivers. Um, and I've just connected a um, correction filter to them uh, just to flatten out them around the mid range area uh, so that we can get a nice flat frequency response across the board.
The stuffing that I'm using um, in the enclosure is called Polyfill or Dacron. It's the same kind of stuff that they use for upholstery, upholstering uh, cushions for example. Um, and I'm just putting a little bit of that inside the enclosure just to prevent uh, any standing waves or waves reflecting back onto the driver. So coming towards the end of the project, um, I'm just screwing down the back panel uh, and then I have uh, four aluminium feet that I'm just screwing down to the bottom of the enclosure and then finally I'm just uh, sticking the Soundblad logo to the baffle of the box. Thank you all for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this project. Uh, remember, if you would like to purchase the build plans, just go to my website, signblab.net. Um, also, remember to subscribe to my channel uh, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, next is to the subscribe button, just click that little bell uh, and that will notify you when I have new videos coming out. Thank you all for watching. Adios.